Welcome back everybody, it's Thursday and this is episode 14 of my playthrough of Clock Tower for the SNES. You're watching the Gaming Completionist and I'm your host DJ Amagath, the Gaming Completionist. Where we last left off, I gotta move my mouse out of the way, boop 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 boop, okay. And now, where we last left off, I did that other ending, the C ending, which was the legit ending I think. Um, I'm gonna go for B now. And I think this time we're gonna get the scream, and you can see that awesome scene. <laughs> Bitch is dead. You know, I honestly don't quite understand what the purpose of them killing off all these chicks is, but hey, whatever floats their boat. So anyways, uh, I should probably start my timer. Let's see, I gotta find the children's room. Where's the children's room? Second floor. Middle. Middle, yeah. Okay, cool. That's one of the chosen doors. Pretty much the same shit as normal. Any minute now. Rest for a second. Okay. Here, I was kind of hoping to actually get through this entire game by the end of this week, but I don't think that's going to happen unless tomorrow's... You know what? Tomorrow's video is going to be longer. <laughs> so we can get all the endings. Uh, let's see, wh what am I doing? Let's see, I did the children's room, now i got to find the library. Which could be to the left, so I'm going to check the left one since that was selectable. Damn, that's the music room. Get, get out, get out, get out, get out. Fuck. Because I hit the music room first, guaranteed it's going to be the staff one. I hate the staff one. Well, while I'm up here, might as well just get this going just in case. Okay, that's not the library. First floor. The waitress brings me a spoon and a knife, but no fork. I tell her I want any fork. She tell me everyone you want to fork. I tell her you don't understand, I want to fork on the table. She say you better not fork on the table, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what the hell am I listening to? I don't need this shit. And why does that sound familiar? Okay, library. No, of course not. Okay, thank god. Yes, demon idol. Awesome. So let's see. So I go back to my room in a hotel, and there is no sheets on the bed. Call the manager and tell him I want a sheet. He tell me to go to the toilet. I say, you don't understand, I want a sheet on my bed. He say, you better not sheet on my bed, you son of a bitch. I go to the checkout and the manager okay. says, Peace are you, I say, Peace are you too, you son of a bitch. I'm going back to it. Let's see. Um... Oh yeah, upstairs. And grab the idol. Took me a minute to remember that. I don't need this. There we go. Okay, uh, storage room. He's gonna pop out, he's gonna pop out, he's gonna pop out. Beat the cat, beat the cat, beat the fuck, motherfucker, 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 motherfucker. God damn it. Okay. I can't 
can't select that. So it's if I... Oh, there it goes. Do this. He should pop up to the left. Oh no, get up. Get up. Um, where is he? He should have... He should have popped up. If he didn't yet... Then this should automatically cue the scene. Sweet. I can't believe I remembered that. Pull it. Pull it. Yeah, motherfucker! Love it. And I think it works multiple times too, which is awesome. Rest, gain my energy. <sighs> Thank fucking God. Okay. And select that, do the thing. Items. Okay. I mean, yep. Okay. Uh, so much scrolling text. This is like the one part of the game that I don't like, is if I try to go for the entire completion of it, is that it takes forever. Okay. Now I go to the cage room. I don't know where that is, so we gotta find that. be this one. Oh no, get out, get out, get out, get out. It's not that one. It's on the first floor. Keep going. Okay, it could be this one. No, that's the bathroom. Or it could be this one. Open the thing, or turn on the thing. Take the key. Use the key. Bird flies away. Okay, so at this point, let's see, I did the cage, I need to use the insecticide, so I gotta go to the kitchen. Just over here. Side meat locker key. Okay. Bone is upstairs, I think. It sounded louder up there. Yeah, it sounds louder. Okay, I was completely wrong. Oh, 
I'm not gonna try to do that stupid scene. Or not. I gotta keep going back and forth until it happens. Okay, now if I go back in there, I can get that other key. Chapel, chapel. That's on the first floor. You know what? We're gonna keep going. Timer is almost up, but we're gonna keep going until we get this ending. So it's the middle door. Let's see. I don't think I need to look had anything, but I'm going to do it anyways. Use the demon idol. There we go. I have the two items needed. <sighs> okay. Hold on one second. Okay. I kind of remember what to do next. Um, I think I just go and act like it's the normal S ending. So I just keep doing everything like normal. So talk to the bitch on the right. Right. Do the thing with the giant babby. Run away. Button mash, button mash. Bitch, just go. You're killing me with this shit. Fingers are hurting, come on. Alright. Yeah, fucking fast forward. <laughs> We've done all this. There's nothing more we can do. Go in there. Go to the right. Elevator. And now to the third floor. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, that was supposed to happen. I forgot. I don't remember if I'm supposed to hit anything. Oh no, she automatically does it. I think on the PlayStation version you actually have to hit select the switches, but I might be wrong. He lost the shit, he dies. It's all over. My adopted daughter! You! I will kill you! Fuck you, bitch. Zappity zap zap. That's fucking cool. <laughs> you were saying...
and much like the other ending. So that one can also be counted as a as the legit ending. Cause only she's alive. Pretty hardcore shit, I think. So yeah, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Come on back tomorrow where we do the last two endings, the A ending and the S ending. Oh, pain in the ass. Take care.